Hi everyone, my name is Christy Bellardo and I'm an environmental education coordinator over at the Mohonk Preserve. Today I bring you the craft called Natural Material Impression Clay Ornaments. These are really easy to make. Um, pretty much um, all you would do is uh, flatten out some clay and use a whole bunch of different natural materials to press into the clay to help decorate it and then you can um, put a hole in it and bake it or let it dry and then you've got these really cool ornaments to hang all over your house. This is a great craft for um, young children and pre-K all the way through adults and I think for the most part you can do this activity either inside your house or out in your backyard. A portion of it will be in your backyard just because I'd like you to grab a whole different bunch of natural materials to use but you can definitely do this mostly inside. So the materials that you're going to need for this craft are um, definitely some natural materials. So um, a few seconds ago, I went out and kind of just looked around my backyard and found some natural materials. So I have some uh, pine needles, um, some leaves, especially leaves with nice deep um, veins on them. I have a whole bunch of different seeds like pine cones and other different types of seeds to use. Um, you can even use rocks if you want, if they're textured or, you know, bumpy, um, whatever you find, even sticks. And um, when you are collecting materials, make sure that they are all just found on the ground. You're not pulling or breaking anything off of a living plant. We want to make sure that we're giving equal opportunity to anything that grows in your backyard. So just pick things that um, are already broken off um, in your backyard. And then besides natural materials, um, you can grab some clay. I like to use Sculpey, but if you don't wanna you know, spend some money to use Sculpey or go out in public, you, there are an assortment of recipes online that you can create your own dough that just require, I think, flour, salt, and water. And what's really nice about those flour, salt, water doughs is that they air dry, whereas Sculpey clay, you have to bake it in the oven. So challenge by choice of what you wanna do or what you have. And then if you wanna go over and beyond with your ornaments, I like to also use different types of cookie cutters. Um, so I have like a, a butterfly, a leaf, um, some hearts, where you can like cut out your ornaments to, instead of just a standard circle, you can make them in different shapes like I did with this butterfly. Um, and then also some paper to um, roll on. You can either use some rollers or um, a rolling pin, um, whatever you have. But when you have all of your materials together, you can then take some dough, get it warm up in your hands by rolling it around to a ball and then flattening it down <laughs> onto your paper. And then you can use that roller to um, you know, flatten it out even more. And I like to use um, a piece of cardboard and a paper because then it doesn't stick to your table or your rolling pin because I use this rolling pin also for making cookies. <laughs> so I don't really want clay in my cookies. Um, and then you just continuously roll it out even more and pretty much maybe like the thickness of the width of half of your fingernail. So if you were to take your pinky fingernail and put it in half, um, that is how thick I would probably make the dough. So I think this is pretty thin. I'll just do one more roll. And then we'll be ready to make some impressions. All right, perfect. So once you have a flat piece of clay or dough, you can then take your natural materials and um, push them into your clay. So um, some ways that you can do that, you can um, take them and just kind of use them as stamps. So you can just press them in all over if you want. And you can do them randomly. You can do them in a specific pattern. It's kind of you know up to your creativity. So you can push them in like a stamp. You can even take them like this seed pine cone I found and you can roll it across the clay like like this 
and you get a different type of impression. And I think like with the seed pod, it kind of like makes this kind of like snake skin like pattern and texture, which is pretty neat. Another way that you can impress um, some of these natural materials, you can take like these hemlock needles I found, put them right onto the clay body, kind of press them down at first. And then you can take that piece of paper and put it over top and then take the rolling pin and then roll it over. And with that, it then makes this nice impression that you can peel the hemlock needle off and it gives you that really cool impression of those needles. And then just kind of um, continue to play around with your clay body, decorating it however you want. And then when you're done, you can then even use, you know, a, a cookie cutter and I'll try the heart this time and you can even press it down to make a shape out of your ornament and just remove all of that excess clay around it. And then with that, you carefully remove your cookie cutter and you get a heart with all of those impressions all over it. And then to make it an ornament, we can just take another little, like either a pencil or another kind of cookie cutter and make a hole. And then you can carefully peel this off and put it in the oven, follow the instructions of the Sculpey or um, leave it alone for about 24 hours if it's that flour and salt dough and it will harden and then you can put a nice little piece of yarn or string on it and then hang your beautiful clay ornaments all over your house. So try these really cool natural material clay impression ornaments and definitely um, post your makings on our Facebook or social media, but have fun and enjoy. Bye friends.